Adventures. Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with Riley hey. and John and Patrick and Mike. I can't believe I've Kip got us. your name twice in a row now. You should just keep it going. <laughs> Five shows later, and that guy! Yeah! <laughs> Sooner or later, they get the idea. <laughs> yeah. It's not my real name. We can't have. <laughs> can we have two running gags on this show? Sure, why not? <laughs> is there a running gag on this show? Yeah, is there? I mean, kind of like I thought that was a rumor that there was a running gag on this show. Uh, we kept going every week. I can't remember. <laughs> there are no gags on this show. <laughs> serious show. We, this is a serious show. We make no jokes whatsoever. It's not my real name, Ooh. and I'm actually an android. Mm. Uh, we'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, what are you drinking? Too um, Too I'm drinking uh, an Oktoberfest, fittingly. Um, uh, oh, from Left Coast Brewery? Left Coast Brewery, thank you. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good, solid. It's definitely got that October taste um, to it, of a little bit of a, you know, slightly, mildly, like, kind of sulfuric taste to it, but not bad. You know, it's not like that, you're like, you know, really cheap wine, sort of like, uh, but it's kind of got a little bit of a bitterness to it, so that's good. Taste of brimstone and So sadness. is it a good Oktoberfest? Do you like Oktoberfest, first of all? It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, you know, a little, little tidbit, Oktoberfest is one of the only lagers I like. I actually like drinking. Mm -hmm. Steve does not normally like lagers, if I remember correctly. That is true. Steve is anti-lager. I am anti-lager. Not, not, not the kind that cut down trees, though. Um, there should be a law, Steve. <laughs> should be a law. Although... I may be anti-logger if the loggers are assholes, <laughs> but that's another there story. There could be <laughs> loggers that are assholes. I'm sure that happens. Yeah. Anti-assholes, what you are. <laughs> yes. Right. Anti -asshole. Some people might think all loggers are assholes. <laughs> that's true. But <laughs> let's move on to on the beers. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a show on Fern Gully later, okay? Yeah, we'll do a show on Fern Gully later. Do not follow. A couple months. I follow yeah. Months. <laughs> I'm more into ales. I like mm. ales. <coughs> anyway. Yes. So, uh, why don't you introduce this topic, Mike? Okay, so, I wish it was like something that we could get down into a sentence as saying this is the topic, but I think that kind of restricts our thinking a little bit if, if, if we just say this is the topic of should we stay or should we go? Because I guess that's how you could sum it up. But I think there's a little bit more to it than that. We were talking about last week after we turned off the camera, which, by the way, we thought quite often about not turning off the camera and just kind of letting it go for a bit and having, like, an outtakes reel, maybe in the future. Anyways, so... Whenever we, we do that, though, everybody's just like... Meh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's only when the camera's off that... The good magic really happens. Yeah, there's, there's magic involved when the camera gets turned off. But so and there may or may not be... Androids involved. <laughs> mm, <they're married laughs> not. You don't know when we have the other side of the camera. Maybe there's let's, an Android operating the camera. Let's, let's talk stick about to the topic here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, right, 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 right. So, so what we brought up was if, uh, for those of you watching, there is a quote of Benjamin Franklin where he says, uh, where is liberty, there is my country. And supposedly, Thomas Paine retorted with, they are friends, uh, close friends, that Thomas Paine retorted with, where liberty is not, there is my country. And so, to me, that brings the question of, well, so if you're living in a tyrannical place or a place where there's a large amount of oppression, do you fight it? And we, we don't necessarily mean that in a physical sense, and I think most of us would agree that violence will probably just continue the exact same problem rather than solve it. So do you leave and go somewhere else where you have more liberty or do you try to stop the encroaching oppression where you're living? It's a good so question. I want to I want to go a little bit more into what Thomas Paine meant by where there's tyranny that is my country. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't mean that he was a totalitarianist. 
good point. That's probably something that should be elaborated on. Yeah, it was. It wasn't that you know, uh, you know, Thomas Paine was looking for somebody to put a crown on. Thomas Paine was um, a revolutionary. Uh, yeah, Thomas. That was more or less Thomas Paine's job. He wasn't <laughs> really, and you and you could look into any sort of you know biography or any you know short history of Thomas Paine or even the Wikipedia page will probably come up with the same summation. Thomas Paine wasn't good at anything else other than being part of revolutions. That's pretty much all he could do well. <laughs> and write about him. Right. And write yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, and, yeah. and he did do very well. I mean, he was, it, that, that became his passion from probably the moment he landed in, uh, I don't know exactly where he landed, but, you know, when he landed in the 13 colonies. Earth. Earth. <laughs> well, you know, he, he at one point he was a tax collector in England, so you got you got to be honest about that. He was a tax collector, and he was fired <laughs> as a tax collector. Right. So what does that tell you about about the man's uh, personality? And then you know, so he couldn't find you know he couldn't find work, and so he you know had some experience as so a he's writer. Basically, fuck you guys. Yeah, <laughs> and so he had some experience as a writer, sort of, and he encountered Benjamin Franklin in England. And Benjamin Franklin gave him the the adage that is you know you know oh, so old to the point where almost like you remember your grandparents saying but nobody else says it of go west young man and that's what Benjamin Franklin told Thomas Paine and so he got on the boat and uh, ended up in Philadelphia and that's where um, that's where you know I mean we we could talk about Thomas Paine for a long time but that's essentially where <coughs> that story begins of, of how Thomas Paine got involved in the American Revolution. He wrote Common Sense. And they say... The age of reason. And the age of reason. Well, I, I mentioned common sense, though, because they say that if there was one book in the house in, during that time period, it was the Bible. If there were two books in the house, it, the second book was common, common sense. sense. Yep. And so it was really that book that propelled those, the, those people at the time into the American Revolution. About it went viral. Yeah, what that <laughs> says about the written word, and just like how you know can express and communicate ideas that you know really light the fire of revolution. And, um, and you know, now we have the internet, and so that's just like blows up. But at the same time, like we are so exposed to so much information that it's like we're so connected that it almost sometimes feels like we're disconnected, like more so. Right. Right. But this is why. You know, things like this and other gatherings, like getting together is always good. But, uh, yeah. yeah I, I, just... I f my first, um, my first exposure to anarchists was online. Mm -hmm. uh, and let me tell you, it was a lot different meeting people in person. Sure. <laughs> yeah. A lot of anarchists I've met online are assholes. Yeah. <laughs> the exact same people in person are all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of bullshit to sift through out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you ended up here, I think you ended up in a pretty good place. These are good people. Mm. That's why I came back. <laughs> yeah. We're not so bad. We're not so We're glad bad. glad to have you back, too. Yes, yeah. of course. Glad to see that you didn't die in the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All those months ago, yeah. But um, yeah. So I, I. So the question essentially is, do we, do you stay where you are, and try to create freedom where you're at, or do you go to a place where it's essentially easier to make yourself free? Yeah, so that, choice. that yeah. sums it up pretty well. I think, I think first of all, a violent revolution is it's not the way to go. Yeah. Your, I mean, all of history shows that a violent revolution just leads to another government. Yeah. Even they even talk, they talk about the American Revolution leading to the most limited government in all history, but... That's not accurate. That yeah. Taxes went up after the American Revolution. I, I think that's something that people don't like to bring up. But that that's true. That's what happened. That's why you had the Whiskey Rebellion and mm -hmm. Shays Rebellion after the Revolution. And um, 
you know, that the, the uh, result of the American Revolution was, was something, you know, uh, is definitely one of those points, at least in Western history, that is a is definitely a turning point. And if events had gone differently, you know, the it, it's one of those arcs of, of history that things definitely would have gone, you know, completely different had the American Revolution not ended the way it had. You know, if it run, it ended in a different situation. But... Um, in regards to revolution and what happens in revolution, almost uniformly after a revolution where the, uh, during the revolution the ideals are usually kept in a certain direction. They, they may be vague and gray and, you know, here and there on the, on the edges of things, but generally there's a certain direction of where it's going. But almost uniformly after a revolution, if people don't stay aware of the situation and keep vigilant, there is the counter-revolution. Mm -hmm. And there's a really good book uh, called Hologram of Liberty. The, uh, the guy who wrote it, his pen name is Boston Tea Party, but you could just look up Hologram of Liberty. I read it. It's very, very good. And he makes the argument, and incredibly thoroughly, and it's, you know, sourced and all that, that the Constitution was the counter-revolution to the American Revolution. Is that, you know, they had yeah. achieved the ideals of the revolution, and then sure enough... Articles of Confederation. Well, we need more rules. Wait, 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 wait. So, that we revolution was great. We need to steal from y'all. Yeah, the revolution was great, but it's too idealistic. Hold on, we need, to do, we need to get some money, and we need to do things that governments do because governments need to do things. Massachusetts <laughs> wasn't paying its war debt, its share of the war, war debt. Yeah. yeah, Rhode Island didn't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, New York State, the delegation from New York State, everyone left except for Hamilton. Yeah. So, you know, and you can look at it, you, if you look at the Constitution, all the signers of the Constitution, for New York State, all it says is Alexander Hamilton. Because the other you three didn't even get a vote because you needed at least two people there from your state to vote. Yep. So he wasn't even able to vote on it, but he did sign it. Yeah. So that goes to show you, like, how much were people really yeah. all for the Constitution? Really not Only that one much. state put the Constitution to a. Uh, to a popular vote, and that was Rhode Island. And the people of Rhode Island voted down the Constitution mm -hmm. 11 to 1. And George Washington said, well, okay, that's great, but we're just going to blockade Rhode Island. Literally. They said, oh, well, we're just, okay, fine, you just you know, can't uh, engage in commerce with foreign nations until you sign this. <laughs> I mean, talk about some fucking tyrannical shit. Oh, so we're going to blockade the port. Oh, hey, didn't they do that in Boston, like, you know, 15 years ago? And that's why we had, you know, the revolution? Yep. Hold on, you know? So, yeah, it's, um, uh, but, okay, so this is the way I, I think of this conversation. Of I, I think, I understand the idea of saying, okay, well, I want to be free in my lifetime. Where do I go? You've got you've got something like the Free State Project, which I actually I really like, and you know, and, and are and are really rooting for the guy. So if if your mentality is I want to go someplace to be free, there's the Free State Project. That'll probably you know, Hampshire is a hell of a lot better when it comes to laws than California is. That's for sure. And you know, you you could argue about for those what, of you who live in California. Yeah, for those of you who live in California, <laughs> not necessarily that we are in California. <gasps> But we could be and we could not be. Anyways, so, you know, there's an option for you. Some people want to move to South America because if you get in trouble with the law, all you really have to do is give them a couple bucks and they'll probably leave you alone, which, you know, is, is, is another option too. But um, the way I see it is that I was born in California and I live in California. Go ahead and run down that list of people who live in California. That might take you some time. But um, I have no intention of leaving California. I was born here. The government is the one that sucks, not me. Not here. So not here. I, You're a commuter. Yeah, not that I... Not, you may I, be a commuter. Well, you know, I, I, may, I may or may not be flying a gyrocopter here and or taking an underground subway that comes from Nevada. So... Or Arizona. <laughs> or Arizona or, or a couple places or... The least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Suborbital arc jet. Anyway. Um, but <coughs> I take, I, I tend to agree with Thomas Paine and say that where liberty is not, there is my country. That I, you know, there is some horrible bad things that are going on. And unless somebody, you know, does something to 
at least antagonize, throw some gum in the gears, something, slow down the process, then, yeah, they'll just continue to bulldoze over it. Why not go to North Korea, then? Uh, <laughs> good point. Um, because currently, the place where I was born is being oppressed. So I feel that I should take care of the place where I was born first. That's just kind of my... Start my, local. My, yeah, exactly, start local. That's my interpretation of it. But... And I think this is, a, this is an important point. I don't think that anyone who says, well, I think it's better for me to go someplace um, where there is more lib liberty, I don't think that is any sort of judge of bravado or courage or bravery or anything like that. That's simply a logical choice of them saying, okay, well, so I could stay here and try to fight this. I may never win. Or I can leave and I can live my life free, hopefully, by the time I die. You know, so I, I don't think that has anything to do with bravery or courage. I think they, it, it's, it's, a, it's a rational conversation that somebody has had with themselves or their significant other, wife, kids, whatever. Okay, are we going to stay here or are we moving? So I, I think that's an important point to make because I think some people kind of say like, oh, well, you know, you, you're leaving, you're, you're a coward. People could say something like that, and I, I just don't see it like that. I think that's a really important to make that has nothing to do with courage or anything like that it's simply what do you think is is better for you that's funny on the one hand you got the well if you don't like it you can get out right and then you say okay fine i'll leave freaking coward yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean th 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 that's definitely i i think uh think of mentality a little bit in 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 this community it, it, it it's pretty it's pretty small i i think most people that i've talked to are like Wait, what? Chili's better? Okay, how much does it cost to get to Chile? And can I live there? And how quickly can I learn Spanish? And a lot of people are, are game with that. Yeah, I have a friend who's writing a book uh -huh. on Germans who left Germany. In the early 1900s? Yeah, no, like in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. oh, they, oh, saw the writing, they saw the writing yeah. on the wall. They mm -hmm. did it in And they turn of came up with too. a scratch to get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. And they were successful in Argentina and other places. Yeah, mm -hmm. Argentina and uh, Brazil. Yeah, and so uh, he's writing a book on those people specifically. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Germanic communities in South America. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, if you can see the writing on the wall and you know that it's time to go, I mean, you know, I have to think in those terms now, you know, with children and everything. I didn't think I'd ever think in those terms, like, could it be time to go? But now I do think like that sometimes. Hmm. Um, you know, but I, I, I realize that if the state wants something from me, they're just going to get it. And the only uh, fight that I have is to teach my kids to see the logical fallacy that, you know, might makes right, you know. Yeah. Um, and... Um, then, you know, spread that poison, <laughs> that, that antidote to the poison of the state, I should say, uh, my own poison, uh, spread that as much as possible, you know. Um, I, I, I'm, I've been trying to find out ways that I can teach people to divorce themselves from these ideas um, that are so caustic and have been the same ideas that have plagued humans forever. You know, um, well, somebody needs to be in charge. What? No, no, they don't. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's hard for me because I'm a really good order follower <laughs> and I enjoy it. Like I like having somebody tell me what to do, you know. Um, so the problem is when you have an intellect enough that you see that the orders are bad, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's that's when the problem starts to come. Um, so, yeah, you know, I have my kids and I and I try to teach them that we're here because it's a good place to be and we like it here. And if we all learn as much as we can, maybe we can help other people learn and that's where the change happens. You know, there's nothing that I can do. Boots on the ground or mm -hmm. like, I mean, what am I gonna do? I, I saw it recently in this political movement I got involved with over mandatory vaccines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, let me, let me get involved in this movement and I realized, I don't like what any of you are about except for this one thing. I was like, but I'll be involved in it because it's important to me. But, I mean, 
all that their goal is then is to have another form of tyranny at the end of it. <laughs> you know, like that's yeah. that's the yeah. end of the line yeah. for them. It's really they're like, yes, we're not going to have mandatory vaccines, and you're going to do this, this, and this because it's better, and we said so. It's like, ah, how can you be so obtuse? <laughs> anyway, so that's my thing. That's why we're in the fight. That's why we're here. If I see the writing on the wall and it's time to bolt, I'll bolt. But by the time I see that writing on the wall, it'll, it'll probably be too late. You know? Yeah. And I keep talking about building that wall down there like it's going to keep somebody out. That's not what that <laughs> wall is for. <laughs> that yeah. wall is to yeah. keep us in. Come on, you know? Yeah. For real. I, I, you know, I remember what was it? Uh, you know, I mean, the uh, Trump was saying, like, oh, I'm going to build a wall in the Mexican border if you elect me. And you're like, yeah, okay, sure, sure you will. But the thing that's really funny is that like a couple, a uh, couple weeks ago, I, I stumbled on an article, and it's like, and forty percent of Americans think it's a good idea to put put a wall in, along the Canadian border too. And I'm just like, oh, holy yeah. fuck, you're really doing the whole wall and in thing, okay? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you know, like, oh, that's you know, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, I, uh, I, I think it's. You know, it, it's it's. Did you see the the new South Park episode? Mm, the one with uh, uh what is it? Uh, brave, uh, brave and Cur what is it? Uh, is it the one about um, uh, what's her name? Uh, formerly Bruce Jenner, Catherine. Ka Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a funny one. Yeah, yeah. I and, it. and uh, Canada built a wall. They go to build a wall. They they're. they're they're fighting to put a wall up uh, on the Canadian border, and Canada built a wall already. Like, Why'd you build the wall? Well, we got cool stuff over here. We don't want to put it. It's like, what kind of cool stuff you got? Don't worry about it. That's funny. Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I think... Uh, you know, with, without going on a tirade about this, because I will go on a tirade about it if 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 you get me in a mood, because it's <laughs> it, it's it's something horrendous that is just something out of like some dystopian sci-fi. Is that when we talk about building walls, let it be known that in this you know in this year two thousand and fifteen, there is a city in the Middle East called Gaza, and it has been <laughs> walled in from the outside. They didn't put the walls to keep people out. The walls were built to keep them in. And that's existing on this planet right now. Like, and there are, there are guard posts with guys with rifles, and occasionally if somebody gets desperate and they shoot a, more or less what amounts to be a bottle rocket over the wall These and rockets. explode somewhere, they then fucking just, just, you know, blow the shit up inside the wall. I mean, it's it's... It's something amazing. So that's so. Putting that in context, God is I, on their side, though. God, yeah, God is on their side. You know, they're which God, yeah. tribes of Abraham or, or whatever. But so in that context, I can see where if I'm living in Gaza and I see they're putting up walls on the side, I might be like, oh, <laughs> maybe time to get the <laughs> the suburban and get kids and uh, you know clothes and whatever and get the fuck out of here. But uh, they're gonna need your general. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Right? Uh, if anybody wants to donate to that, you know, send me a message and we'll get that going because I want <laughs> the driver <laughs> copy again. Kickstarter. Friendly reminder: you Let's all think go. I'm crazy. I really want to do it. So, yeah. Um, so I, you know, that sort of situation. Yeah. Okay. They're putting up walls to keep you in. Why are they putting up walls to keep you in? Hmm. You don't really need to know the answer to that. It's time to GTFO. But um, you know, I it, it's. When you have, you know, it's Tio Taki, bro. <laughs> what? Tio Taki. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but when you have, like, when you have a a country like the United States of America, where you at least have some marginal, you know, memory of, hey, at one point this was about rights and liberty and freedom, and and whatnot. For about 15 minutes. For about 15 minutes. Um, I think in that situation, you have a better angle to say, hey, listen, you can kind of make that wedge to kind of bring that back. I don't think it's impossible. Uh, improbable, well, that's, you know, a couple of years might determine that, but I don't think it's impossible. I think, so, yeah. Well, well I I'm sorry, yeah, I'll talk forever. Yeah. 
Well, in, in terms of, like, you know, kind of what you just touched on and oh. what your comment was earlier, and that was a question I had in, in terms of, like, if we are going to stay and fight the tyranny, what methods of implementation do we utilize to achieve that end? Like, um, you know, how do we go about doing so? Mm -hmm. uh, do we participate in the political system? Do we not? Do we? Just, I like what you said about educating, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it really comes down to education, but, like, how can we strategically plan for freedom? Right, cool. like, uh, and how can we strategically plan for uh, keeping those in power from doing as much damage as they can? You know, minimizing that damage being done. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Like, what, I think, <laughs> what you I think there's a couple of things. No, <laughs> number one is education. What Patrick, like saying. Patrick yeah. was saying, and number two, what Patrick was saying with kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teaching kids, especially. Gener generationally. Yeah. 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 It's so much and easier to teach someone before they're broken. And, and peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> even, if you're, even if you're teaching them the right things, but if you're doing it in an aggressive way, then you're... You're... you're Part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You're causing... Yeah. You're, what's the word I'm looking for? You're... Perpetual. Neutralizing the things that you're saying mm -hmm. by your actions. Mm-hmm. So you have to do it peacefully. Mm -hmm. But then also things like agorism, mm -hmm. um, you know, it may seem contradictory to the statement of education. <laughs> Still good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you also have to... Down, but not out. <laughs> 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 Mike Tyson hit Don <laughs> King in the face. <laughs> uh, anyway, agorism and Don King. Part of, it, part of what else? He got knocked out. Forgot what I was saying. saying okay, like, agorism and you're saying like if it could oh yeah possibly um uh privacy, keeping your shit on the down low. Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it on the video. No, shit's yeah. out of here. no you, talk, you talk about the ideas. You don't talk about what you're doing specifically. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of... Uh, if if, oh, yeah, yeah, if yeah. any of you are breaking the law in any ways, don't put it online. Yeah. Why would I... <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Law? I'm teaching <laughs> children. That's way more dangerous than breaking the law. <laughs> I'm sitting there in my art classes and breaking apart marketing <coughs> and propaganda and going, this is how they do this, yeah. and you should do it too. But you should do it for your own, you know, purposes. You know, I, I'm, I'm dealing with uh, how we use story. Uh, and when I say story, I mean like the arc of the hero, you know, to, to sell things and to market things, all things, not just like toothpaste, but we use it for that too mm -hmm. you know teaching these these things that are effectively brainwashing so that you can see them from a young age mm -hmm. you know my son is like aghast whenever he sees a commercial because we don't do cable television when he sees one he's like well that's that's stupid they're trying to use the image of the divine feminine to get <laughs> the I'm like yes he's eight i love it uh, good <laughs> job bro patrick's son oh, are smart <laughs> Yes. That's good. You know, the sooner that you can catch them with that kind of stuff, you know, um, and stop the mindless consumerism and well, it's and a, it's know. impossible these days though not to break the law. Yeah. Uh, how do you break the law exactly? Is it like written on a stick and you break it, <laughs> or how exactly? Transgress. Is that a factual thing, or is that? Sorry. You do what the people with the guns say you yes. shouldn't. Okay. That's the law. Yeah. Mm. Well, Essentially, all a law is is a opinion backed up by a gun. Anyway, every law is a lifted gun. Yeah. Yeah. So that that that's my my two cents on it. Uh, Education, good. raising your kids, uh, agorism, and campaign for nobody. <laughs> Creating alternative. Nobody, 2016. <laughs> I, I, I think it's a uh, bumper sticker with that. <laughs> side note. Uh, we did do a we did do a show a while back. The three things that will change the world. Yeah, yeah. And if you go check out that series, we that go was that was really good. I'm glad you brought things. that up. That was a while back, but that was that was a lot of fun. Um, but you know, you mentioned, um, you know, talking on a computer, you know, and all that sort of stuff. 
and talking on a computer. <laughs> and computer. I, and I, computer, the files what is are that? In the machine? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, so uh, without going into a lot of detail about this, because it's, there, there's a lot to go on about it, and I, we don't have enough time for it. But um, so um, currently, the FCC is is claiming uh, dominion over any device that can broadcast or receive Wi-Fi. Huh? They're what? These other they're 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 the FCC? Claim FCC. FCC. F yeah. not FEC. FCC. I you said FCC. Yeah. The, okay. So the FCC, anything that's like broadcast a radio signal, more or less, they're saying like, oh, we can tell you what to do with it, right? But now they're going a step further and they're saying anything that, that can broadcast or receive a radio signal, including Wi-Fi, they can say what you can or cannot do with it. And that includes deleting or installing files that may or may not interfere with the Wi-Fi signal. Wait, there, so let yeah, me ask yeah, you something. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to ask, what if you had a Android built for sex that received Wi-Fi signal? <laughs> Could the FCC interfere with that? Yeah. Uh, I guess they try to. But would it be consensual? <laughs> would it be consensual? <laughs> That's, That's a, a great question. question. Sending the signal. <laughs> <laughs> robot robot oh, sex. Hold on, we're, we're way out of time. Yeah. Way <laughs> robot sex in the future, but check that out. The website's called SaveWiFi.org. Save it's actually some really scary shit. You should all look into it. It's kind of mm. creepy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Peace. Good, no, good night. Good night.